Meghan Markle may be seven months pregnant, but she isn't letting that stop her from enjoying every minute of her surprise trip to New York City, including indulging in a night out at one of the Big Apple's most exclusive eateries with some of her closest friends. The 37-year-old, who arrived in Manhattan on Friday for a secret five-night trip in order to attend a baby shower being thrown for her by her nearest and dearest pals, was pictured heading out to Ralph Lauren's swanky restaurant The Polo Bar on Tuesday night alongside fellow mothers Serena Williams and Jessica Moroni. Despite a busy day spent catching up with friends, Meghan looked fresh-faced and full of energy as she arrived at the high-end eatery, which is also known to be a favorite of President Donald Trump's, and is located just a few blocks from his tower on Fifth Avenue. The party spent three hours inside the restaurant before stepping back out into the chilly New York night. Meghan and Serena were then spotted arriving back at their lavish hotel, The Mark, on Manhattan's Upper East Side. Jessica Moroni is a Canadian stylist who has been helping best friend Meghan with her outfit choices for years and has three children, twins Brian and John, aged eight, and daughter Isabel, aged five. Serena William has one daughter. Alexis Olympia Ohanian Jr., aged one. Mother-to-be Meghan looked every inch the glamorous royal as she made her way into the restaurant, escorted by the same group of burly officers from the State Department and royal protection officers. The pregnant Duchess recycled the same $3,085 2, Navy Victoria Beckham coat that she was seen wearing in images published exclusively by DailyMail.com on Monday evening. The first photos taken of Meghan since she arrived in the Big Apple on Friday evening. She paired the chic double-breasted coat with a black scarf, a pair of black satin boots, thought to be from Isabel Morant, and a $1,140 £915, black chain handle handbag by vegan designer Stella McCartney. Meghan also modeled a much more glamorous makeup look than she had been seen wearing during the day, modeling a dark smoky eyeshadow while emphasizing her natural pregnancy glow with some highlighter and bronzer. As the former actress climbed out of her SUV, which appeared to be the same State Department vehicle she has been using all day, she couldn't help but flash a wide smile, no doubt at the prospect of spending an evening with some of her closest pals, many of whom live in ocean away from the royal's home with Prince Harry at Kensington Palace. Meghan's husband may well have been in her mind however thanks to the choice of venue. Not only is the polo bar known to be a much-loved celebrity haunt, the restaurant is also themed entirely around the popular equestrian sport from which it takes its name, a sport that Prince Harry has been playing for decades. Meghan and Serena have actually watched one of Harry's polo matches together, along with the tennis pro's husband Alexis Ohanian, who joined the two women to cheer on the prince in the Audi Polo Challenge in Oxfordshire back in July not long after Meghan and Harry tied a knot. And there would have been plenty of reminders of that fun summer day inside the restaurant. In the main dining room, which is located downstairs, diners are met with a myriad of equestrian-themed artworks that cover the walls, while riding helmets and polar mallets can be found hanging on hooks near the bathroom, just waiting for a few social media-savvy patrons to pose for a photo or two. Upstairs, the is an intimate bar area, where diners can enjoy one of the many cocktails on the extensive menu, which not only features classic cocktails like the Moscow Mule and the Old Fashioned, it also boasts a number of signature reserve cocktails, including the Jockey Club and the Improved Negroni. There is even a drink on the menu named after Meghan's father-in-law, the Prince of Wales, a $22 drink that is made of High West Rendezvous rye, cherry herring, honey, pineapple, and champagne. The restaurant also boasts an extensive wine list, featuring bottles from around the world, including a particularly pricey $18.000-1891 Brunello di Montalcino. As for the food, which was no doubt pregnant Megan's focus, as opposed to the alcohol offerings, the Polo Bar boasts a host of classic American dishes, from a house-chopped salad that retails for $18 to a 16-ounces New York Strip steak which costs $55. The restaurant even has its own signature hot dog, the $20 RRL hot dog, which comes complete with sauerkraut, sweet relish and mustard, 
all served on a toasted brioche bun. Having opened in early 2015, the Polo Bar quickly became one of New York's most popular eateries for high-profile diners, and has played host to everyone from Hillary Clinton to Gwyneth Paltrow. President Trump, Melania, and their son Barron also enjoyed dinner at the eatery back in June 2016, the night before Donald's 70th birthday, and just a few months before he went on to win the presidential election against Clinton. Meghan's evening outing comes after a busy day of activities for the royal, which started early in the afternoon when she was seen leaving High End New York Hotel the Mark to enjoy an afternoon out ahead of her baby shower. The seven months pregnant royal was seen cradling her baby bump as she made her way to Met Brewer Museum, which is located just a few blocks away from the Mark Hotel, the rumored venue of the intimate baby shower being thrown for the royal by 15 of her nearest and dearest with her former Suits co-star Abigail Spencer joining her for the Quick City jaunt. Moments earlier, Meghan was pictured walking out of the five-star hotel at 1.05 p.m., once again keeping a hand rested on her growing bump, surrounded by armed officers thought to be from the State Department, as well as several plainclothes royal protection officers, just moments after her close friend and former Suits co-star Abigail Spencer was pictured making her way into the venue. Taking advantage of what is a bright and sunny day in the Big Apple, Meghan wore a vintage grey courage coat for her surprise outing, pairing the outerwear with some skinny black jeans, and some nude suede heels. She accessorized her ensemble with a pair of dark sunglasses, which hid much of her face from the cameras, and was seen carrying a dove grey handbag in the crook of her right arm, while the other hand was planted firmly on her large bump. Meghan was accompanied on the trip by what appeared to be several members of hotel security, as well as a handful of plainclothes police officers, including the same man seen escorting the mother to be out of a Manhattan apartment on Monday evening. Other than her impressive security detail, the royal appeared to be along as she made her way past photographers and into a waiting SUV, which had Department of State license plates. From there. She traveled the two-block distance to the Met Brewer Museum, arriving at 1.10 p.m., and was pictured spending time in the restaurant after her arrival, however a source revealed that she also found time during her 30-minute visit to take in some of the museum's artworks during the tour around one of the galleries, noting that the Duchess looked beautiful during her visit. However a source at the museum told DailyMail.com that Meghan was initially supposed to have lunch at the Met Brewer but made a last-minute change of plans because the venue was felt to be too public thanks to the large windows in the restaurant, which make it easily viewable from the street outside. Because of this, Meghan, Abigail, and their entourage of protection officers, chose a more secure, private location for the royal to enjoy more of an incognito lunch, the Surrey Hotel. Meghan's very brief trip to the Met Brewer was enough to provide a bit of excitement and intrigue for some however, with a few social media users sharing their shock at running into her in the art gallery, with one person revealing that they bumped into the Duchess in the bathroom. I went to see Juliola Park at the Met Brewer and also ran into Meghan Markle in the bathroom, Instagram user Ashley Toth wrote, while sharing an image of one of Le Park's pieces. Ashley then saw the Duchess again while walking home sharing an image of Meghan and Abigail exiting the Surrey Hotel. Actress Abigail, also 37, also joined the Royal at the museum, before the pair left together to walk the short distance across the street to the Surrey Hotel, another high-end establishment that has played host to a slew of high-profile clients, from JFK to Betty Davis. Meghan and Abigail were flanked by two of the same Royal Protection officers seen escorting Meghan out of the mark with Meghan walking just a few paces ahead of her friend, flashing her three-diamond engagement ring as she placed her hand on her baby bump while crossing the road. Suits star Abigail was wearing the same red-patterned shirt dress that she was seen modeling when she arrived at the hotel earlier on, but she had abandoned the grey beanie that she sported with it, she also traded the thick fur trim parka she had been sporting, in favor of a more lightweight black jacket allowing her to show off more of her colorful dress. The duo spent just over an hour at the Surrey, perhaps taking the time to enjoy a light lunch ahead of the baby shower festivities later on in the afternoon. 
At approximately 3 p.m., the friends were seen leaving the hotel in order to make a very short journey back to the mark, arriving around three minutes later, presumably just in time to start getting ready for the main event of the day, Megan's bridal shower. Shortly after their return, newly engaged designer Mishianu, the woman credited with introducing Prince Harry and Meghan, was seen arriving at the mark, having spent much of the day at her studio in Noho before going to join her royal pal. It is a double celebration for Misha, 34, who got engaged to oil mogul Michael Mikey Hess, 32, during a Valentine's vacation in Mexico, with the groom-to-be proudly sharing the happy news on social media, before the designer was seen wearing her dazzling new diamond ring while out and about in New York on Tuesday. That same ring was front and center as Misha made her way into the mark, wearing the same chic but low-key, outfit that she was pictured modeling earlier in the day, when she left her Manhattan apartment in the morning, and when she stepped out to grab a salad for lunch. The bride-to-be bundled up against the chilly New York weather in a dark blue overcoat, black tights, and a bright red scarf, finishing the look off with a pair of heeled black ankle boots. Misha was also seen carrying her iPhone and a small personalized red purse that had her initials MN embossed on the bottom corner. Although Meghan was able to spend a few hours away from the venue of her party, the hotel was alight with feverish activity even in her absence, with crowds gathering outside its main entrance in the hopes of catching a glimpse of the Duchess, one of her close friends and guests, or at the very least one of the many fascinating deliveries arriving for her shower. Abigail was the first of the royals nearest and dearest to be seen making their way into the Mark Hotel on New York's Upper East Side, trying to maintain a low profile by wearing a gray beanie hat and large, dark sunglasses as she made her way inside, flashing a wave at the waiting photographers on her way in. She spent just a few minutes in the hotel, taking the time to change up her outfit slightly, before heading out again to join Meghan at the Met Brewer. Abigail first sparked speculation that she had traveled to the Big Apple for the special occasion after sharing an airport selfie on her Instagram account on Monday, less than 24 hours before she was seen making her way into the mark, shortly after bouquets of flowers, an orange tree, and a $380 travel crib were seen being delivered to the swanky venue. As well as her shades and hat, the actress was dressed in a thick black parka with a fur-lined hood upon her arrival showing off just a hint of the more colorful, stylish pink dress seen poking out from underneath the thick winter wear. Although the rest of the guest list for the event is not yet confirmed, there are two people close to Meghan who are likely not going to be in attendance, including her beloved mother Doria Ragland, 62, who was pictured walking her dog at home in Los Angeles on Tuesday, while her daughter was preparing for the swanky event. Meghan's close pal and fellow screen star Priyanka Chopra, who was a guest at the former Suits star's wedding to Prince Harry, all but confirmed that she would not be attending the baby shower, when she posted a selfie on her Instagram account on Tuesday afternoon, and listed Beverly Hills, California, as the geographical location of the snap. Indeed, other than Misha and Abigail, none of Meghan's other more high-profile pals, including the likes of Jessica Mulroney and Serena Williams, were pictured arriving at the hotel during the day, however it is possible they chose to stay at the pricey venue, and therefore did not have to venture out ahead of the shower. Suits star Sarah Rafferty, brand consultant Benita Litt, and college pal Lindsay Roth were also among the friends who were believed to be attending Meghan's shower, however as of 6 p.m. on Tuesday evening, they had not been seen outside the hotel. Meanwhile, Pilates instructor Heather Dorak Another close friend who attended the royal wedding, welcomed her second child, a baby boy named Cody Cohen, on Valentine's Day, which presumably left her unable to attend the event. It was thought that Priyanka, who, like Meghan spent Valentine's Day in the UK, might have joined the royal on her trip over to the Big Apple in time for the shower, but it now appears that is not the case. Meghan did manage to make a very under-the-radar arrival in the city however, going almost entirely unseen by the public over the weekend, after reportedly arriving on Friday evening. On Monday night, the Duchess attempted to go incognito as she covered up in a cap and long navy Victoria Beckham overcoat and a grey newsboy cap pulled down over her dark brown hair, 
and with her large diamond engagement ring clearly visible on her wedding finger. Meghan returned to the Big Apple over the weekend to spend time with her girlfriends before the arrival of her first child this spring, and was seen on Monday evening being escorted into an SUV by a royal protection officer. The palace declined to comment on Meghan's security detail for the duration of the trip, or the plainclothes officer seen accompanying her. Meghan is understood to have flown into the city on Friday for a surprise five-day trip after spending a quiet Valentine's Day evening with her husband. Prince Harry. A spokesperson for Kensington Palace would not divulge details of the Duchess's flights, but confirmed that as this is a personal trip, her travel was privately funded. It is not known whether Meghan flew to New York on a commercial flight, or whether she was lucky enough to travel in a private jet. The royal certainly has her fair share of high-profile pals who may have been able to secure her access to a private plane, TV mogul Oprah, who was in attendance at the royal wedding and is said to have formed a close bond with Meghan's mother Doria, owns a private jet, and once said of the plane that it was incredibly useful for making the exact trip that the Duchess of Sussex made on Friday. I would say having your own airplane is the greatest luxury, Oprah told British Vogue editor Edward Enninful during a 2018 interview, before adding, because it means one minute you're in New York, and then the next minute you say, you know Edward, I think I'll fly to London.